Mile High City's only primetime newscast with Dave Young, Beverly Weaver, Jim Conrad Sports, and Al Fogelman with Doppler 2 Weather. This is Channel 2 News. This just into us here at Channel 2 News tonight. The Denver Fire Department in a story of what are typically called nuisance beaver in the city of Denver tonight. A plan to relocate some of the animals from Cherry Creek in the heart of the city has now been put on hold. And this time it's because the beaver's human neighbors think the change in the creek is a good thing. A duck family paddles along through the cattails and other water plants looking for a midday meal. This is a section of Cherry Creek near the Cherry Creek Mall that has changed significantly in the last few months. It's all the work of a family of beaver. I have never seen the beaver there myself. Um, all we could do is just watch the kind of little ecological system develop. Uh, we saw different kind of ducks and different birds that come in, the little duck family that just went by. Dick Peterson is one of several neighboring business people who has been watching the change brought by the beaver. Since they're nocturnal animals and very shy, they're hard to see, but this is one that was trapped a couple of years ago here in Denver. While the beaver aren't very visible, the changes they bring are. And walk over towards the dam, and you look in that water. That water is absolutely pristine. It is so clear, it looks like you could drink it. And all that stuff growing down there is watercress. Sherry Tippy with a group called Wildlife 2000 doesn't miss an opportunity to educate people about beaver. She's hired by the city to live trap and relocate the animals. Not this time. So often the city only hears from people when there's a complaint, right? The beaver taking down trees, they're making a dam, they're causing flooding, and I go in and remove them. Most of the time I really don't get a lot of opposition. This time, however, I did. Since so many people want the beaver here, the city is now putting plans to move them on hold. That news comes to the delight of passers-by who enjoy watching the results of the beaver work. It's just so beautiful and it's a shame to, to throw it away. Now, if you do think beaver are a little bit of a nuisance and you want to protect your own property from beaver, there are a couple of things that you can do. Wrap older tree trunks in canvas or wire so the beaver can't take them down. And you can put tubes in their dams to keep the creek from flooding too badly near your house. In South Carolina, experts there are trying to figure out what's happening to the endangered sea turtles. More than 100 of them, like this one, have washed ashore this season. That means certain... Turning Point. Tonight, unlocking the mystery, the amazing animal mind. Good evening, I'm Diane Sawyer. Tonight, we're going to take you to the frontiers of modern science, where a number of pioneers are exploring the true power of the animal mind. What if animals have an actual sixth sense, an ability to perceive and communicate that surpasses our own? And what if animals have more complicated thoughts and emotions than we ever dreamed? A lot of 